My name is Janet Safransky and I've been uh, working for Walgreens for over 20 years. Well, I've been at this location yeah, um, for over three years and during that time I've gotten to know a lot of our um, customers which are people that live in our neighborhood and have been coming to this store since it opened over 16 years ago. So you can imagine the disappointment of a lot of our patients when they found out they couldn't come here anymore. Uh, we still see a lot of them shopping in the store, but um, you know, I knew when they walked up, you know, who they were. I knew what medications they were going to need. I knew kind of anticipate issues they were having, kind of help manage their medications and kind of felt like I knew who they were and, and felt like it was a personal relationship more than just a business um, transaction. We have one um, particular patient who probably gets close to 30 medications a month. Um, she's uh, very ill and there's a lot of intricacies in her uh, care, um, any delays that can cause problems. So of course she was really disappointed in December when we told her and devastated really. Um, and you know she's come in here many many times since then to let us know that you know every day that she has to go somewhere else she's realized more and more what the relationship we had with her meant. For someone that has a complicated medical history and um, you know she doesn't have to she has to start all over as far as explaining herself and you know a lot of people know that they can, they can come here to get what they need and they don't really have any we know them so there's no judgment no preconceived notion of what medications are getting or why um, so they can feel comfortable doing that. So she's having to start over and, and she's let us know that that's been a devastating thing for her, especially someone with a lot of uh, health conditions and issues going on. The one thing that I, you know, when, when we started telling people um, in Dece November and December that we weren't going to be able to process their plan after the first, um, you know, of course we were disappointed. Um, you know, a lot of it comes down to things that I can't control here in the pharmacy and. Um, things that are beyond our control business-wise as well, but that's not even what mattered to me the most was just the disappointment of losing customers, losing those relationships. And a lot of times that's, you know, people that are most affected um, by these choices that corporations and, and processors make, um, you know, we're the ones that suffer, the ones that have the least control over it. And so we're hoping that, you know, Walgreens patients and Walgreens pharmacists can voice their concern about this um, from that personal standpoint that you know, if we can just work past some of these things that we don't always understand so that we can make it right to be that community pharmacy that our patients have come to rely on for all these years.